I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Honestly, I don't think you have to put that much thought into it. The way I see it is allegedly a couple of teenage drunkards in the early 1980s attended a party where supposedly this inebriated teen, Brett Kavanaugh, clumsily tried to disrobe another inebriated teen's Christine Blasey's one-piece bathing suit. Now, according to her allegation, that night, Kavanaugh forced himself on her, muffled her screams, tried to undress her, heard a friend in the background saying things from go for it to stop, was able to slip away across the hall into a bathroom. However, she was so plastered, she couldn't even remember the time, place, or date of the party, uh, the people there, or how she got home. Now, this supposed incident wasn't disclosed to anyone until 30 years later in 2012, and again in July of 2018. The first of which in 2012 was to a therapist whose notes don't include Kavanaugh's name and contains inconsistencies with her current recollection of events. The second in July of 2018 was when California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein caught wind of it via a letter which was initially intended as anonymous. Feinstein, even though admittedly unsure of the authenticity of the claims, Now, I can't say everything's truthful. I don't know. Chose to pass the letter on to the FBI anyway, but not right away. This accusation didn't go super sane until right before one of the key vetting processes for Kavanaugh were to move forward. At best, the assault happened likely different from what's being described and is being used as a Me Too political tactic. At worst, the whole thing is a sham. After the juvenile bellicose circusry and cries over documents, now this, you kind of got to wonder what's next in this series of political theatrics. There's no denying the weight of the Me Too movement has, at times, been used strategically for political ends since its inception. Is the Kavanaugh saga just the latest in the succession of blows to the integrity of the movement? I seriously hope not.